careful what you're competing with them from that range. But with a timer, you just don't have an incentive to go in in the first place, which is great. So I, I definitely think it would be a positive change. Oh yeah, I think I think any fighting game needs a timer of any kind. Yeah, um, it was a bit kind of a big mistake that it's not in the multiplayer in this one. I mean, it's it's in the single player. It's in the single player campaign. In fact, it's a huge part of it. But uh, yeah. Yeah, that was why I couldn't beat one of the bosses because like I was doing so little damage because I had like no good stats on my my roll or whatever, and then the timer kept running out. I wasn't dying, but I couldn't beat him fast enough, so I just had to give up. And it was in the mode where you like you have to start all the way over, so I'm just like, oh, that kind of sucks. Yep. I, just, I just have to start over now. Yep, exactly. All right, so Maybe. we got another Meta Knight bomb matchup. Oh, was there already one on the stream? Uh, yeah, there's one going right now. Yeah, I, I think oh, Zyvon's, like, on right now. Oh, oh, uh, no, I know, I meant, like, um, there was one earlier. Oh, yeah, our first round was Meta Knight Bomb, I'm pretty sure. Ah, uh, it must have been Bonathan and Zed, right? That was it, yeah. Okay, so, Zyvon probably winning this one right now. There's one bomb away. Yep. Yeah, the, their bomb placement is, like, impeccable. They keep varying it up. So every time that Meta Knight tries to react to the first one, they throw another one to counter their reaction, and then they get hit. You, know, you yeah. saw that happen just over and over again that first round. The hits, like, the right there you saw that one hit of jab, like, hit, it was able to outspace, like, a, like a stand. But, like, one that comes moving forward is just going to hit him, even though his range is so huge. Yeah, exactly. Like, even, we were talking about this earlier, even if they trade, it's still, like, the first part of a multi-hit move, so the bomb is getting way more out of that, because it's just one big hit. Like, the Meta Knight is depending on, like, getting someone in, like, a three-sword strike, but, like, that's not gonna happen 80% of the time if they trade, so... Meta Knight needs, like, all of his hits to happen, which is why Bomb is, like, an even matchup. Otherwise, you know, Bomb has the worst damage output in the game, but Meta Knight... Meta Knight has great damage output if you can actually get the combo started. Yeah, exactly. And like against Bomb, it's especially hard to do that because everything they're pulling out is like a, a burst hitbox, basically. That not only does a lot of damage compared to what you're putting out, but also like pushes you off them a little bit. So, but like, if you can get in as Meta Knight, the match is yours, but it's very hard to do that. Because you have to not only, you can't just trade, you have to like beat them to it, and they're constantly throwing out bombs, which gets very hard. Especially if they get you in a dash bomb combo, your only option is to escape. You can never contest that. So we're seeing Ninja next. Ninja, interesting. My guess is they want to just all the kunai and just all the bombs. But I bomb as someone who has played against bomb, I know the best way to just mitigate above, and that means like it's not it's not like a completely foolproof plan. Yeah, no, exactly. Oh, maybe not the ninja. Oh, he's switching out. He's having second thoughts. Also, chat, I'm completely with you guys about David X Machina. Like, I, I really liked the art style, but it just it just didn't look interesting. Like, I'm sure it would be fun, but like, it just didn't really grab me or I think anybody for that matter. Like, it was it was disappointing. I'll have to take your word for it. Uh, and then we also do see we do see the ninja coming up. All right, go in springy handland. Interesting. We'll have to see if the ninja pick will allow them to get uh, get in a little better on bomb because that's what they were struggling with on Meta Knight. But ninjas seems to be a little bit better about that. I mean, they have a few defensive options, but most of their kit is based around getting in. So the question is, can they do that effectively enough? Because bomb is still walling them out pretty hard right now. Yeah, uh, they tried to dash attack quite a few times. Uh, you can get through the bomb because there's no hitbox on you, but once the hit, or, um, excuse me, you can't really get through the bomb because there's no, like, hitbox in front of you. And then that just puts you right on top of it. Yep, there's a nice little bomb string. Yeah, they, they are just walling Ninja out. They're making sure they constantly move, so they're never just walled up in one place, so Ninja could just grab them. 
Like, like by the time they've thrown out a bomb, they're already like running halfway across the stage, so they're very hard to track down. That, that was that was good. Cyborg's gonna go up two games to zero. Will we see another character switch? Yeah. I would definitely say that would help out in this case, but it just depends what characters they're actually able to play. I think I think something like staff could be kind of useful because then you could go over a lot of the bombs. But even then, your your movement options are kind of limited, so we'd have to see. Staff is interesting because I think you you have lower frame data, so you can kind of get stuffed out with like like bomb throwing bombs very quickly. But also, like if they're like running away and throwing, then you can probably use like the larger hitboxes and like go through. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, like if you position it right, you can get through the hitboxes pretty okay. It just it's especially with Zyvon's playstyle, it's tough to get through there. Which is what we've been seeing these first two rounds. All right, will we see a character switch? This Robin is currently undecided, I think. Yeah. It's nice that since uh, Zyvon's actually... Oh, Magalore. Okay, interesting. So now he's going with a much more campy pick, so we'll see if he can out-camp bombs. Because before he was just going with aggressive characters, which, 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 ugh, which uh, wasn't working too well. But uh, I think this... Uh... Used this matchup. She's, she's played like for like some of the better mags so she knows her way around it it's obviously a losing matchup for bomb but bomb, bomb can do it it's, it's winnable absolutely yeah dark spikes are going to be really helpful here yeah because they stop the bombs right Yep, and if you're underneath the platform, there's not really a way that Bomb can do much. Yeah, that does give you some protection. Because unlike Magalore's projectiles, the bombs are actually physics objects. Like, you've got, you can kind of use that to your advantage and just not be below a ceiling and be fine. At least for a time. Robin's gonna get a dash attack in there. Yeah, he's oh, trying to go through the bombs, but he leaves himself open every time he does. I think that dash attack guy was meant to read a jump, but Zyvon not giving it to him. Goes for it again. Not quite. He's trying to hang back, but every time he does, Bomb just inches a little bit closer and then gets him. He's uh, going for those dash attacks. Just not putting any apples on the screen, and that just makes Mag so much worse of a character. Yeah, the apples are kind of your bread and butter, because they just give you tons and tons of stage control. 